We've had your Conservative government, Dan, for what now? 12 years? 12 years. Certainly yeah. seven years. Seven years untrammeled. It goes on and on and on, and it never, nothing ever gets done about it. If you took a poll tomorrow, there was a poll quite recently about what people think about the trans issue generally. So, for example, uh, should transgendered, uh, 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 i.e. men who have transgendered into being women, uh, should they be allowed on hospital wards? Should they should there be separate toilets or should they be allowed into, into women's toilets? 98%. You know, we're not talking about a small margin here. This is the entirety of the population finding this whole stuff an utter absurdity, and yet still it goes on, driven by elites which are in thrall to one or another uh, group, such as uh, Stonewall, who are one of the groups which are pushing this kind of rubbish, and the NHS. And the NHS, you will remember, Dan, not so long ago, when the government announced that uh, henceforth transgendered women should not be allowed on to uh, uh, women's wards, uh, the National Health Service responded by saying, oh, yes, they will, and we will continue to make sure that they are, and we should defy the government. So all this stuff is way beyond control, yeah, and it is pursued by an elite which has no hegemony, has no support within the population, and most crucially, of course, has no support within <laughs> within science. Uh, mm. but the interesting thing about this, of course, is that if you are a woman who has transgendered into being a man and you find yourself pregnant, <laughs> I would suggest that that is an indication from someone, perhaps God, perhaps your own body, that you are not a man, you are actually a woman. And that is why you are pregnant and about to give birth to a baby. Uh, and it seems to me that, that it's, as, it's as straightforward and simple as that in many cases.